Welcome to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to show you the unboxing and setup of Zing U007 condenser microphone. Before we begin, please press the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for instant updates. Without delay, let's open the box then. As you open the box, as you can see on the top in the packet is the pop filter. And looking down in the box then, it's been a while. Let's look at the microphone itself. As you can see, uh, it is shiny, uh, weight feels okay, and also the golden top on black base uh, looks awesome as well. Uh, as you can see, it's Zingyu ZY007 model. The build looks okay, and also at the bottom there is a male three-point adapter for the wire uh, or cable to go in. And that's all about the microphone. The second item in the packet is the cover for the microphone itself, not in a very good shape, obviously has been in a packet for a while. Basically it goes on top of the microphone like that to cover the microphone receiver bit. Uh, fits in nicely as well, uh, gives a better look to the microphone as well. And this is my old cover from my old microphone which is perfectly spherical, round, whatever you call it. And this should uh, take that shape as well eventually after some time outside the box. Looking inside then, uh, there is a mic stand over there and it's just a plastic a bit and uh, looks in a 90 degrees. The third item we are going to look into is this mounting bracket. And it's in the packet as well, taking it out and as you can see it's all black uh, which complements the microphone itself. Looking at this item then, it has got some rubbery bits um, on which the bracket actually hangs itself. Obviously uh, this provides sock absorption and at this end here it has got a tightener in order to give it a rotation in full uh, 180 degrees. Uh, so if you loosen this slightly more, it's movable in 180 degrees which means you have got more freedom to choose which angle you want to keep this cradle in and it has got two little handles there. Obviously it widens the base, that's where the microphone fits in. Press it harder and push it in and as you can see the microphone goes in the next one we're going to look into is the table clamp or basically it's again metallic and there is this long screw with handle in it obviously to screw and unscrew the whole thing um, onto whatever base you choose to put it on. The screw bit on this side here is uh, the tightener that's where the extender arm goes in. Let's look into the extending arm now obviously this is where the microphone cradle gets attached to. As you can see as well, uh, there are um, springs all around, obviously for that movement function. Sorry about the video because obviously with the restriction of the camera, you can't see it fully, but please wait on the video when I explain about the assembly of this item on my desk. That's where you can see it clearly how it works. This bit here on the tip is what goes into this uh, clamp bit and it just basically goes in stays in there and you have to unscrew this slightly for it to go in the extendable arm let's say for this instant goes in there and it's free to move in other direction as well depending on how tight you put that screw on coming to the other end then this is the end where the cradle goes in and sits in as you can see it moves freely as well it has got a good range uh, looking at the cradle that bit goes in there. Looking at the cable itself then, the black cable, uh, it has got a female three-point attachment. It converts into a 3.5 mil auxiliary cable. Looking at the adapter itself then, white one, got a bit of length in there as well, USB on one end and there is another end that has got microphone and headphone jack. Let's not forget about our pop filter. Let's take it out of the packet. This has got fabric, uh, two layers. Uh, one on each side and as you can see uh, if I put my hand at the bottom there you can still see my hand which is visible. The material feels nice obviously nicely made and obviously extendable arm that leads into another clamp as well and unscrew it and basically lets you uh, mount this on your extendable arm. Let's move on to the second part where I'm going to assemble it and show you how it is done. Starting with the clamp then uh, basically it goes and clamps into your table whichever end you prefer Obviously for me, I'm right-handed and having this arm on the left hand is ideal. So I'm just tightening this screw end at the bottom. Sorry, I c I'm not being able to show you that at the moment, but it's as simple as that. Uh, you can just fit it easily. That's nice and tight now at the moment. Next comes the extendable arm. This step here goes into the clamp itself. Sorry, I was not able to show this on the unboxing video, but uh, this then attaches and goes into 
two rods with two springs on the side goes all the way up into the junction area on the top there and there's another adjuster on the top obviously it depends how tight you want this joint to be comes down to be two frames again having two springs on the sides as well all the way down to the mount where the cradle for the mic sits it has also got that rim thing there that the cradle goes and fits into and now time for it to fit in basically you put it in that adapter bit and it just basically slides into place that's it and again you can screw it as much as you want to make it tight as per your preference as you can see the arm is extendable it can come up and down and it can freely move as well depending on how tight you keep that screw at the bottom next is cradle and basically i'm just uh, trying to tighten it up and for some reason it's taking me longer and i can feel like this is not getting any tighter at the moment uh, there's some issue going on with this bit here um, the rim is very wide on the cradle bit so this is not tightening at all a con of buying something uh, cheaper price it is a uh, not very expensive microphone so i can't complain on this uh, i'll try to speak to the seller and try to get a replacement sent out as this is not tightening up i'm going to improvise this use a bit of tissue and put it on the rim of the base and try to tighten it up that way i can feel it's definitely tightening up at the moment there we go with the cradle itself as you can see it goes up and down so it gives you that flexibility and also the tightener over there also give you flexibility to move it further next one is the microphone uh, time for it to go back into its cradle two handles there press it and then the microphone would go in and having these two tighteners gives you flexibility to achieve a better angle on this microphone next one then uh, basically the cable that came with the microphone once that's in then i have an imac so let's see if plugging it in simply detects it on the computer and when i tried uh, recording using this microphone the computer is not detecting it that's why the good people of Xingyu give you this adapter, the USB adapter, to connect it into your computer. Using it on the adapter, putting it in the right port, obviously that says a microphone and not the headphone. After you've ensured that uh, that's the right port, simply plug it in and it's time for the USB to go into the port of the computer. So let's connect it in there. And once it's in, the computer should recognize it. And yes, look at the screen on the left hand side the computer has picked it up now on my iMac it comes up as USB PNP sound device and it's picking up basically so it works so I'm gonna change the setting on the computer to receive from microphone and the next sound you'll hear is from the microphone itself the adapter is rec making the recording so I'm gonna talk to it hello it's on the full volume now as you can hear that the Zing Yu uh, is giving a pretty decent sound however you can hear that beeping electronic noise at the background so even though when I'm not recording uh, you can probably hear from my other uh, recording sound that Zing Yu is constantly making that uh, low electronic beeping sound so to rectify it I'm gonna change it slightly instead of using the cable directly from the microphone to the computer through the uh, music adapter or sound adapter I'm gonna use a phantom power for now I'm using a newer phantom power you can buy them cheap on Amazon I looked at today and they are about 21 quid the way it's gonna work is basically the microphone will um, connect via the uh, phantom power so the cable after connected to the microphone basically goes into the phantom power and then the output that goes from the phantom power then connects into the computer via the sound adapter that is provided by Zing Yu. Due to the input uh, settings that has to be managed now I'm gonna play this microphone in iMovie and see how it goes and what sound we hear. Um, I'm using one of my video um, and I've muted all the sound so there's no more sound but when I'm connected via the supplied USB sound card uh, I can hear a very low tone beep sound going on in the background I'm gonna switch into my Ugreen uh, bought from Amazon it cost me 15 pound for this sound adapter and see if the beeping buzzing whatever the sound that is uh, disappears 
from the recording so let's see it. let me switch that quickly and I'll come back to you again this time um, I have changed the settings slightly the input and output are both the USB audio device which is the uh, sound card adapter I bought from Amazon input and output are both coming through it now uh, still using the Zing U microphone so this time the buzzing sound from the background has gone which means that the adapter that came with Zing U is not a very good quality whereas this U green one that I bought from Amazon obviously not sponsored by U green or whatever is better I cannot hear that beeping electronic sound at the background so this is better so my first impression and review time then impression wise uh, the product is very nice looking uh, the microphone is not very heavy um, uh, all the cables and everything supplied look good but mm, when you actually go into the quality side because this microphone sales are so cheap as well uh, the screw bit for the cradle was not tight enough so I had to improvise it using a um, a piece of tissue paper uh, which fixed it and also when it comes to using the sound adapter the white cable adapter uh, that turns into USB uh, that was giving that low beeping electronic sound so I had to change into my U green sound card that I bought for about fifteen pound on Amazon. Again, I'm saying this. Uh, I've not been sponsored by U green for saying this online, but this uh, sound card has actually fixed the problem, which is the beeping sound in the background. I would say overall, Zing U, I would give uh, seven out of ten for the sound quality that I'm getting for so cheap price. So it's up to you guys if you want to buy this. Please tune in for next video where I'm going to compare between this Zing U microphone versus a Toner 700 PM microphone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon for instant notification. And also you can join me on my Facebook group or Facebook page. And stay safe everyone. Thanks for watching.